US President Joe Biden's withdrawal from the 2024 presidential race has sent a seismic uh, political shockwaves worldwide as the news of Biden's decision spreads diverse global reactions is emerging. Viewers Paul Ndiho spoke with Sir Leonard Anyogo, a constitutional lawyer and political analyst based in Abuja, Nigeria. Anyogo's perspective is that Biden's willingness to step aside is a testament to the enduring strength of American democracy where no individual is greater than the party. It's rare for, for someone who has a nomination to willingly decline, uh, not, so, not necessarily due to pressure, because we've had this in, in Africa generally, that people sit tight. So it, it was a bit surprising, but, but for the interest and the greater interest of America, uh, Joe Biden has once again shown that uh, he's a perfect gentleman, uh, putting the interest of America above his personal interest. Why I say this is a bit surprising to an, an average African. We've seen where most African leaders sit tight, even when they have uh, challenges with health or infirmity of the mind. The only, the only succor we have in Africa that has come uh, this far, or like an example, is, is, is late President uh, Nelson Mandela, who did just first term in South Africa. And he had all the rights, uh, first right of refusal to even continue to do his second term, but he willingly declined. Since Nelson Mandela, we've not seen any African leader that had the opportunity of running the election, especially a sitting African leader, that has declined um, his nomination. Joe Biden has shown that he's a, he's a perfect gentleman, and uh, American is a beacon of hope and beacon of uh, leadership. There are a lot of uh, people who are echoing uh, the same uh, sentiments uh, who said that uh, uh, President Joe Biden has showed that uh, he's a statesman, uh, he put a party ahead of uh, personal politics. The fact that uh, he has uh, uh, endorsed uh, his uh, current uh, vice president, Kamala Harris, says a lot about the personality of uh, President Biden and who he is as a person. It is an inspiration to the African continent. Now look, uh, politics is service. It's not a personal uh, aggrandizement. So um, we, we, are, um, we are very excited in Africa as a continent that took, if the most powerful president in the world, in, in Joe Biden as it is, can step, step aside for, I mean, uh, bury his own personal uh, ambition, African leaders should be encouraged. When, when the chiefs are down, when you are no longer strong, uh, for instance, if, if, if you may, may permit me, that the, uh, President Pobi has been there for ages, but he's sitting there tight. Over decades he's been there and so many other African leaders. You make a great point. There are a lot of African leaders they don't want to give up power. And what President Joe Biden has demonstrated says a, a, a soft but loud message. It says that no matter how well intentioned you are, there comes a time when you have to pass on that button to somebody younger, somebody who has the fitness, the capability uh, to lead that nation to greater heights. And that's why America remains a beacon of hope, a beacon of democracy to the global community, especially in Africa, because your personal interest is always subsumed to the community interest, to the national interest. Because when you get to a point that you know quite well that, look, for no fault of yours, the, the body is um, not as strong as it used to be, or the, the mind is troubled, it should step aside. It must not be an individual. It, it's, um, it must not be a, a particular individual. That was great country. And that's what the U.S. has demonstrated. To your point, uh, there are a lot of people who have uh, suggested that, uh, for example, uh, maybe this would bring about unity. Uh, earlier you referred to the United States as a beacon of hope for democracy. But within the Democratic Party itself, heavily divided, uh, they ganged up on Joe Biden and literally stopped him from running again. So is that a democracy? Uh, uh, you talked about uh, unity. There is no unity in the Democratic Party as we speak. So what kind of message does it send to people who are looking at this scenario and saying, hey, as long as if it plays in my favor, why not? The Democratic Party is an institution. So it's not just about Joe Biden. Um, so that's why I say when you have a strong institution, institution uh, the majority of that institution or members of that institution will take decide um, uh, will take decision. Now, 
imagine Joe Biden says, I'm going to stay on because um, it's, it's one strong personality with strong will. But unfortunately, um, the body and mind may not carry uh, on. So he has to succumb to the normal pressure. Now, you, you also, you're also aware that uh, some funds, fund readers have reduced because as at as the time he has not said that. So, so people, some people say, look, I'm not going to fund the party. So majority decision is the key. I think that is the hallmark. When majority are taking decision, you as an individual, whether you are a president or a monarchy or whatever, you have to succumb to the people. The whole world will be looking to, to um, looking at the American the society to say, okay, now that Joe Biden is gone, will um, Kamala Harris unite the party? Will it deliver the expected result? Because it seems as if if Joe Biden has carried on and um, the Democrats will eventually lose, people will not say, okay, because he did not um, step aside. Now, the man has done the honorable thing by stepping aside. So the whole world will be looking at that uh, uh, party and look at the American side. Let's see. Uh, let's not be that it's Joe Biden that was the issue. Joe Biden is out of the way now. Whoever takes over, uh, Kamala Harris, let the American side be rally around him and see how he performs in the November elections. Sir Leonard Anyogo is a Nigeria-based constitutional lawyer. He spoke to VOS Bondiho.